We were stupid, sneaking around, thinking we weren't going to get caught. Steph and Jenna's in the hospital, and Jeremy could be next, all because we didn't, we didn't listen to her, because, because we're together. Stefan. I know what you're going to say to me. Then let me say it. I've been so selfish because I love you so much. And I know how much you love me. But it's over. Stefan, it has to be. No, Stefan. Football. It's just one more sport where I get hit last. And you want to know why? Because you stink. <laughs> or because you're pretty and all the other girls are jealous. Nice save. Okay, look, I know I'm not good, but I'm not horrible. Look alive, Stuart. Eh. Okay, I'm horrible. But you just know what it feels like to always be the last one picked because no one wants to be with Stinky Stuart. <laughs> not true. Last year in soccer, I wasn't picked till practically the end. You had a broken collarbone. And you still got picked ahead of me. I just wish one time some miracle would happen and I wouldn't get picked last. All right, Palumbo, Truscott, team captains, pick your team. Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Finally a captain who will pick me first! <laughs> Doesn't matter who you pick, Truscott, your team is going down. In your dreams, Palumbo, you've been trying to beat me at something since the second grade, and newsflash, never gonna happen. Hey, Stinky, how you doing? Not bad, hey! <laughs> Let's go, ladies, pick your teams. You're slower than my husband in the bathroom. <laughs> Curse the day he put that plasma screen in there. Pick first, Trescott. You're gonna need all the help you can get. She's not the one who's gonna need the help. Oh, oh yeah? Yeah. Darn right, yeah. You're going down, phony Joni. Who smells like we go baloney? That's been in your locker all alone. Right next to that. That. Melted ice cream coney. Ooh, girl, you are in the zone. <laughs> Yo, salt and pepper. You wanna bet on it? Does she? How about, um. Winning captain gives the losing captain a little haircut. You're on. Or we can bet a quarter, because you know it's just about the fun of competition. No, it's really about the fun of me kicking your butt again. Yeah. That's it. You're on. Go ahead, Lily. Pick away. Make my day. Everything's going to be okay. Kowalski. What'd you say? <laughs> Sharp hey. Forget about the rest of us. How about the fact that your brother has worked extremely hard on the show? Oh, boo-hoo. He'll be in the show. He'll do his celebrity impersonations. And don't lecture me about Ryan. Given the way you've been interfering with Troy's future. What? You've got him written up by Fulton for sneaking on the golf course. Swimming after hours? I had to step in just to save Troy's I'm job. I'm not interested in what you think you're doing for Troy. That's between you and him. But you're messing with my friends, my summer, and that's not okay with me. You don't like the fact that I won. What's the prize? Troy? The Stardazzle Award? You have to go through all of this just to get either one? No thanks, Sharpay. You're very good at a game that I don't want to play, so I'm done here. But you better step away from the mirror long enough to check the damage that will always be right behind you. Girls! Hey, what do you mean you're done here? Us working together sounded good.
but plans change and people change. The club talent show is a big deal for Sharpay and evidently for your future. So it's cool. Make it happen. Wear your new Italian shoes. Jeez, I'm still me. Blowing off your friends? Missing dates? If that's you, it's no, good no, to I'm know. No, no, I'm only doing that because I'm working on the scholarship thing. You know that. But if along the way, you act like someone you're not, pretty soon that's who you become. I meant what I said about movies and summer and just being together. I'm sure you did. At the time. But I also meant when I said that I want to remember the summer. But not like this, Troy. Your summer activities consultant has arrived. Hopefully some of those activities will include a job. Hey, it never happens as long as we're together. It's cool, right? You promise? Here's my promise. Troy? Mike. Yeah? Hey, man. How's it going? <clears throat> there you go, boss. Oops. Let's go. Yeah, sure, sure. It's not busy or anything. <laughs> we can go to the movies, download music. Oh, and I'm definitely teaching you a twisted flip on the skateboard. Oh, and I have first aid kit if I can patch myself up. All right. <laughs> But it was burning hotels. I had to see the competition. Don't I get a burning hotels party? Tell me one thing. Were you with her? Yeah. Are you in love with Charlotte? What? You are. I'm you not have a thing. I don't care. <laughs> Just remember, she's trouble. Girls like that always are. That's ridiculous. I'm not in love with Charlotte. You still haven't washed your hands yet. It was that special, being with her. I don't think I can do it, Troy. I think I've run out of goodbyes. Why do you keep saying goodbye? I love you, Wildcat. But I need to stay right where I am. I'm sorry. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. I mean, um, look, I'm, I'm glad you're with Savannah. I hope you make each other happy. But? Just be careful. If things go south of Savannah, it's gonna blow back on me. I mean, are you guys gonna get serious? I don't know. But I promise you, I'll be careful. Yeah, do that. I'd hate to see us get lynched by an angry mob of cheerleaders. Pitchforks well, and they'd soak them in kerosene, obviously. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> you off? Yeah, I still gotta run my errand. Errand musical in nature? Sort of. I miss having you to myself. How could you vote against Savannah? I was kind of voting against you. Why? Look, I don't know what makes a cheerleading video good or bad. Move the camera, shoot it on the moon, whatever. But I do know that if your plan backfires, the bobbleheads will blame Savannah, they will blame you. That's a pretty gigantic assumption. Well, I brought you into Cheer Town, so you're my responsibility. Well, I'm trying to help. Savannah asked for my advice, so I gave it. Do you really think she'd ask for your advice if you weren't her boyfriend? Does it matter? <sighs> See, the Hellcats are the Beatles. Savannah's John Lennon. Alice co captain, so she's Paul McCartney. They've got this rivalry going that has to be kept in check. Or could break up the band. But you, you're not really in the band. 
Jen listens to your ideas, not because they're right or wrong, but more because you're showering. I think I care for this particular metaphor. Sorry, dude. Here, Yoko. I'm not gonna help you break up the world's greatest rock and roll band. Damn patch! And good morning to you as well. What are you doing here? Oh, hi, Marty. We were up late watching old movies. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah. I didn't know we were at the sleeping over stage. You know, a little warning would have been yeah. nice. You know, I've been crashing at each other's places since we were in diapers. I still wear them occasionally. It's liberating. <laughs> this guy. Don't let him think you think he's funny. I'm gonna get some coffee. The mugs are labeled, don't take any ones except mine or Savannah's, and the Lancer mugs are only for alumni. Except when it rains on Tuesdays. I didn't laugh. I didn't really wanted to. You know what? We need to set some ground rules. I'm still adjusting to the whole idea of you and my best friend throwing sleepover pajama parties. Look, if he's here as your guest, he's your yeah, responsibility. Said, the last thing we want is for you to feel weird. Too late for that one. I need you to call Dan. Tell him I'm sick and I can't go out with him. What? Well, it's not really a lie. My stomach's been in knots all day. I thought you were all excited about the big secular date. What happened? Everything you said about what a player Dan is. <sighs> this is because probably right. He's never going to be attracted to someone like me. Okay, look, I have a big mouth and I don't always pay attention to what comes out of it. It's healthy for you to get out into the world. I can't let you blow this off. It's not your decision. Well then, let me help you. But you have to study. You know what? I've hit a wall here anyways. A break will do me good. Now, what can we do to keep you from freaking out? I understand that you didn't know about the kids, and I'm sorry for springing on you, but I meant what I said. It didn't mean anything. A kiss always means something. Okay, maybe you're right, but it wasn't a romantic moment. And you would know that if... What, I was there? As you so sweetly pointed out at the party, the party I threw for you, I wasn't there, was I? Is it impossible for you to forgive me? I forgave you. For what? For sleeping with Chris Keller. And you know what, Lucas? I loved you for that. You had such grace in that moment. I fell in love with you all over again. And I can't believe that you would use it now as a bargaining chip. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I just, I need you to trust me and believe me when I tell you that my heart is with you. But a part of me feels like ever since we got back together, you've just been waiting, waiting to push me away. Oh, great. You kissed Peyton again, and I'm pushing you away. God, why did I make everyone identical persons as wedding gifts? I love you, Brooke. I don't know how else to say it. How about how you show it? I'm not pushing you away, Lucas. I'm holding on for dear life. But I need you to be okay. back. Why wouldn't you tell me about the kiss? And why wouldn't you call me while you were away? And why won't you ever just let me all the way in? We have to give our toast now. About love. Please don't be mad, bro. Lucas I'm not mad